I have come to clean the pool. Yeah, nah, she's right, mate. G'day, it's Alistair here with another ElectroSync video. Roomba robots, robotic vacuums, whatever you want to call them, they're great at sucking up dust. They're also really handy to repurpose into other types of machines. I may be a little bit late to the Roomba robot video party, but I am super early to the Roomba robot pool party. Today, we are going to turn a Roomba robot into a robotic pool cleaner. For my build platform, I searched for the best robot vacuum cleaner that money could buy. And then I found this much, much cheaper one. If you're anything like me, you may have wondered what's inside one of these robot vacuums. So essentially it's a control board up here that controls a number of motors. So we've got motors at the front that control the sweepers, motors at the side which go through a gearbox and control the wheels. At the back there's another motor that controls a fan for the suction part of the vacuum. And it's all powered by a 4S lithium ion battery. I started the build by 3D printing resin parts for the drive system. I then designed and printed some parts to mount to the bottom of the robotic vacuum. These parts, combined with a pool noodle, will form the flotation for the robot. I added a skirt to hide the flotation and make it look more like a Roomba robot. This 12 volt submersible pump replaces the vacuum motor. The 3D printed paddles mount to the relocated original gearboxes. Time for a float test. So it does float. It's a little nose heavy though, isn't it? If we can get some ballast working, um, I think we'll be right. I add some ballast and some finishing touches to make it look a little less dull. Let's test this thing out in the water. It's actually just coming into winter here in Australia, so not exactly the best weather for testing this, and I'm really hoping that I don't have to go into the pool after it. It works, it works. It really struggles on change of direction. Occasionally, it will hit the wall and turn itself around, but most of the time, it'll hit the wall a few times and then power down. I kind of feel bad for the little guy. That covers off on the movement, but how does it go actually skimming the stuff out of the pool? To test out its skimming performance, I'm going to add some of these coloured beads. You can actually see the surface tension of the water pushing the beads away from the robot's mouth. It quite a small handful of the coloured beads. Well, there you have it. My converted Roomba robot into a pool skimming robot didn't work that well. 
Uh, it didn't skim very well. It didn't change directions very well. Uh, overall, it was pretty much a failure. Who would have guessed? Anyway, it was fun and probably one of the stupider things I've built recently. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.